Yeah. All righty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, everyone? How are we? Same old, you know. What are you eating? So I'm on. No, get this. I'm on. I'm on a diet. It's called the vertical diet. And this is my fucking six meal of the day, and it's only yeah. fucking one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's my second. Yeah, no, good stuff. Um, so, what did you think of the uh, super matches in Brizzy that happened on Gold Coast? Was it, mate? First of all, fuck them for being allowed out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. No, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I think um, the lineup was pretty good. You know. Mm. Um, two obviously stood out, right? Yeah. Two of the super matches. We've got Sam and Jordan. Yep. yep. Which were yep. had you had you expect it going? Like I expected it to go exactly how it went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what? Credit to Sam for fucking actually punching yeah. above his weight constantly. Like he's 100%. got super matches lined up for the next like six months. 100%. Sam Safiri's next, for example. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, yeah, man. I'm super proud of that guy. Just fucking always, always fucking marching on. Did you, um, did you see Chris Brindley's back in, back into the game? Yeah. That guy's a monster. Yeah. He was my very first arm wrestler to comp in True. 2016. Okay. And he fucking annihilated me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, it was over like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, um, speaking of um, Sam Burnett, let's um, let's go to his channel because he uploaded a. Um, oh yeah, he matched. We'll do, with... we'll do a plug. Burnett yeah. Brothers Arm Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I think, is that it? Yeah. So um, I want to watch um, SK and Ethan first. Mm-hmm. Now that's another good match. Yeah, a really really good match. Um. So, um, now I don't know too much about these two pullers. Um, I've met Ethan once before. I know he's similar style and um, size as Jordan. Tall guy, loves his low hand top roll. I don't really know much about SK, but I believe it was last time I was in Brisbane, um, he did pretty well in the... um, the comp in Brazil. Oh, are we talking uh, about the, uh, when the I, am- amateur or not really amateur amateur state title yeah. in December? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yep. the one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, he did well. Yeah. So, yeah. But I didn't really, I didn't even know these guys were competing before the match. But did you have a prediction going in? Yeah, I thought Ethan all the way. But uh, that's because I don't have much knowledge on the SK. I've seen him pull twice. One that comp you mentioned and the other one at, uh, when was it? It was not long ago. When I versed Marcus, that uh, super series. Mm-hmm. I think he versed, um, oh, dude, I'm forgetting names. Guy with massive biceps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was a hook wall. Yeah. So beautifully done. Just denying access into that low hand. That super net cup in, drag right over. Um, no issues slipping to the straps against Ethan. It's hard because I haven't pulled any either of these guys. So I don't I don't know what to expect, or there's not really much I can talk about. Ethan's got really strong back pressure when he can access his um, pronation and cup sort mm-hmm. of combination off the center. Yeah. You see. Yeah. Okay. So. Like Jordan, it it seems like he just lot. wants to bleed him. That's that's usually Ethan's plan. He tried yeah. to do that with Josh as well. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's telling him just to give it away. Reset. Yeah. Smart thing to do. No, exactly. No bleed yeah. himself out for the next round. I want to see what he does here differently. The 2-1. Yeah, at this stage, I think it is 2-1. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful execution. Yeah. No, really good. Um, so, yeah, did you think one was going to win if you had to choose or did you have an initial prediction or not really? Out of Ethan and SK? I thought Ethan was going to win. You were the Ethan, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, Even has every advantage over SK. Yeah. Do you know if they're a similar weight or? No, I don't think so. I think SK competes at the 80 kilo mark. Yeah. And Ethan yeah. is a super at this point in time. Yeah. I'm, okay. not, for, I'm not sure what he weighs. Um, Regardless, SK is, is very good. Yeah. And it's a good matchup. Yeah, 100%. Um, okay. So do you want to move on to the main event? Yeah, absolutely. Um, which I'll have more to talk about. So like you said, you thought it was going to go exactly the way it yeah. did, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's nothing against Sam. Jordan's just at his, at his, you know, he's really peaking at the moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you um, saw him against me at uh, New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah. Took my hand like it was uh, a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Literally, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't, don't top roll the guy. Don't try. Just fucking yeah. hook him. And you'll probably puck up. You'll probably foul that too. <laughs> <laughs> and like Sam Pan for Pan has a quite a big hand actually. Yeah, um, mate. I think we we got the same size arms, and it's 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 ridiculous because I'm twenty yeah. kilos heavier than dude. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> Jordan not really breaking a sweat. Poker face is working well. <laughs> Uh, loading up in that direction with Jordan is just, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he does try to hook him. Yeah. It's too late to try to sink in. Yeah. Him into a car. So, park. yeah. Um, that's good yeah it's hard I haven't, I haven't obviously felt I haven't pulled either of these guys um, in probably eight nine months now mm -hmm. um, so it's hard to see where they're both at comparatively um, but stylistic, stylistically Jordan's just a hard person to beat on any given day <coughs> training Jordan versus Cobb Jordan is a very different person yeah, um, yeah. take everything with a grain of salt with Jordan Correct. I say that out of love. <laughs> yeah, correct. So, um, yeah, Matt. Um, what I will say is Sam still very young. He's obviously proven he's dedicated to sport and he's taken the defeat with class and not really much else you can say. He's just going to come back and work on it. <clears throat> That's it. It's, uh, it can only and, go forward, mate. Yeah, in a year, this might be a, a real match. So, yeah. you know. Agreed. Um, so yeah. Um, now, now that those are over, we've got to talk about probably the biggest match happening in Australia, upcoming at least. Um, yeah. Lachlan Adair versus Ryan Bung. What's your prediction? First of all, over six rounds. Um, Lachlan four two. I'm Ryan four two. I know. Yep. Fuck you, mate. I reckon Ryan will fucking find a way to fucking weasel through Lachlan's hand somewhere. <laughs> you are, do you want to put a uh, slab of... Uh, a slab of Jimmy's on, on it? I'll put yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Fucking it. doubles too. Doubles? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, mate. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think anyone wins 6-0. I, I can't see that happening. No. Um, no. There's a, there's a lot of wear and tear in that match. At full throttle, I yeah. believe there will be. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it just goes down to who's smarter. Um, and from Ryan's perspective, it's being able to flash pin Lockie off the go, take his wrist. Lockie, it's just catch him. If you can catch him, he's going to gain position and I think he can win. Do you believe that Lachlan can hit first no. with Ryan? No. Yeah, same. No. <clears throat> I just can't see it. He's just not built that way. Yeah. I mean, I'm not then, exactly built that way. If I, if I verse blue on any given day, he's going to be the one hitting first. Yeah. So, yeah, you've just got to use what you've got 
and try better what you don't know. Absolutely. Play to your strengths. Yeah, yeah play to your strengths, for sure. Um, so October, October 23rd, is it? I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's definitely mid to late October. Um, obviously, Blue's the underdog. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so in saying that, Lockie has more to lose. I'll... I'll- I'll ask you a question that I've been asked. What has, um, and I, with all respect to Lachlan, okay, what has Lachlan done in the last, since um, Arnold Classic 2019? That's it. <laughs> you can't think of anything. No. Like, to be fair, he was going to yeah. verse Ryan Scott for number one, like true number one spot. Yeah. But that couldn't happen, okay? Yeah. But other than that... Yeah. And that's I haven't, the thing. Oh, I haven't you, seen anything. If you based it on like if you base it on recent credentials, Blue has more to offer, despite mm-hmm. still being the underdog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a lot of it's a circumstantial out of Blue um Lockie's control, obviously. You could tell um, that's right. You that's can right. understand how how shit it would have felt to be Lockie when he wasn't able to pull Ryan Scott. Mate, we saw the video that came out. He was fucking angry. Yeah. Like really pissed. Yeah, for sure. Um, especially because, if I'm not wrong, he actually got into WA and then had to fly C- back. A couple of hours later, he had to fly back. Just bizarre. It's because he just, it was on the flight and they changed restrictions. So yeah. as he entered the country, if he entered the country, like say three, four hours beforehand, Which he'd I'm be right. Because sh- Blue did enter the night before, didn't he? The day before, yeah. That's right, yeah. Um. So yeah, I think, <laughs> like you, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the trash talks already started from Blue and Lucky. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I don't know if it's a bit forced or if it's legitimate. It's, I don't know. I reckon they, they flip a switch when it comes time to do this sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably shake hands at the end of the day and get back to being training buddies afterwards. But until then. Yeah, it will never end in hate. Not nah. here. The, the arm wrestling community in Australia is way too small for the hate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so you think four two blues way? Mm-hmm. So do you think? So who do? You, okay. So take me through round to round. What do you think is likely to happen? Do you reckon Lockie's going to get the first pin or Blue is? I reckon Lockie is getting the first two. And Ryan will make certain adjustments for three, four, and five. Yeah, I think um, I think Lockie just needs to slip to straps every time and don't even risk it, because um, I think it's perfectly possible and plausible that Lockie could get confident and try to just try to catch and hold on out of straps, and no. we could capitalize on it. No, if I know, I'd like to think I know what. Lachlan's thought process is going into this match. Mm. He's he wants six, so he wants to kill him every fucking round. Like no holding back, no giving him anything, because he Ryan is the type of guy that take advantage of the littlest thing within the setup. Yeah, and you we both arm wrestled Ryan. We know yeah. for sure. And like, and what makes it interesting is because each each of these guys train with each other, so they know each other back to front. <clears throat> so neither of them can use each other's, um, you know, technical aspects over each other. They both know each other. So it's not like Ryan knows more about Lockie or Lockie knows more about Blue. It's just, I, I feel like it's whoever applies what they already know is going to win, which they know exactly where their strong grooves are, where their weaknesses are. That's they're right. both going to play to their advantages, like you said. They're going to avoid those weak spots. And yeah. Well, win. that's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do think that a comp ready Lockie is going to be harder, harder to flash pin. Okay. But yeah, well, I agree too. Any, anything can happen. Like, but you know, when historically, whenever you bet against Blue, you fucking prove this all right. Yeah, yeah, you, you fucking lose money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bet yeah. with him, not against him. Mm. No. Uh, I, I just, I just see it happening. I don't know. You might. Hmm. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Can already taste the JVs, Mark. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to um, actually fucking leave the house to get them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> when's not happy until like 2028. <laughs> no, sorry, Mark. Still can't leave my fucking bedroom. 
Oh, I'll make some moonshine in the bathtub, make it as close to double JBs as possible. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. Fuck. Um, so before we move on to, because I want to talk about international mm -hmm. matches yep. and events coming up, because there's actually a lot happening at the moment. That's right. Um, how is your training going? Because obviously there's no arm wrestling able to happen. Yeah. Oh, luckily, I've got a, I've got a squat rack. I've got a table with pulleys. I've got everything. So You've got everything you need. I'm keeping up. Yeah. No good. Or, yeah. So. Yeah. No. I mean, what about, good and you, is, you've, I know I've seen your setup. It's yeah, good. you know my setup. It's a good setup. Yeah. Um, I'm still training, um, but I am giving myself the chances to really heal up because there's stuff like my inner elbows haven't been 100. percent So I'm just using this time wisely. Was that from the Hendry match? The Nick yeah. Hendry match? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so still, right. still lingering on. Like I can still arm wrestle like 90, percent mm -hmm. but comp starts like i don't have that confidence that i'm in completely injury free mate well you, you've got like mandatory healing time now <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so yeah 